I swear, one of these days I'll find a way around your guard. <laughs> For all that, he's trained you to be the best of us. You're not Master Lee yet. I would welcome another match with you, though. What say one more before we break for the day? Let us begin. Did you see? Master Lee was watching. He may not show it, but he clearly takes pride in watching his students practice. I learn something every time we meet, proving that loss sometimes is the best teacher. Thank the heavens the bruises are worth it. You are gracious as always. I regret that there won't be much time for such practice now that you've almost finished your training. Master Lee told me to pass on that you should speak to him when you have the chance. He said you could take your time, so you need not rush. He specifically told me that it was no rush, so I didn't think it would be vital. Besides, who could turn down a chance to practice with you? You have some time to wander the school and talk with other students. Smiling Mountain likely has some of the younger students available if you want to spar. I shall leave you to it. Take care, my friend. Ha ha ha! 
Typical. Oh, you're finally here to talk to Master Lee, are you? I certainly hope so. The old man is in there meditating, and he won't train me until he talks to you. <laughs> the senior student, Master Lee's little lapdog, here to talk to me? My lucky, lucky day. Don't you have something more important to do? You don't want my answer to that question. Go talk to one of your sandal-licking friends and let them tell you I'm jealous. Try Lynn. She'll say anything to please you just to see your simpering little smile. Pathetic. Master Lee wants to talk to you. Do me a favor and go talk to him. Then maybe I can actually receive some education at this school. I have nothing to say to a dog bounding after its master. Go bother someone else. Senior student, and not too many people come back here this time of day, so we thought we'd take a moment to practice. Would you like to join us? We could team up against you and learn from the best. With all due respect, we would be no challenge for you individually. We could learn much from seeing how you deal with more than one opponent. Smiling Mountain usually lets us fight in groups if he has enough students available. But learning from you is a chance I wouldn't want to pass up. If you have time, that is. I would not wish to impose. We should keep practicing. We have a weapons training session later this afternoon. Perhaps one of the others, like Wen or Lin, could help you. If you wanted to help us practice in a match against us both, of course, we would be most honored. This is good news! We'll try to go easy on you. Heavenly way! Legendary strike! That's enough! I didn't think we'd win, but it was an honor to face you. Thank you very much. We have to go. Smiling Mountain's going to be teaching a class soon, and then we have weapons training. I have been healed. Owo sayir uyukap wowo tarawayil shatir owo. If we're lucky, Dancer will bring us some sweets when she gets back. Greetings, fellow student. The gate is closed for now, and I am tasked with keeping it so. Master Lee has asked that no students leave the school until the morning meditations are concluded. Please do not. This is the first task I have been given, and I don't want to get distracted. What do you mean? Some sort of test? Ask me anything. I am ready to try. 
Wait, I know this. Yes, it's weapon, martial, support, transformation, and magic. Weapon and martial styles are pretty self-explanatory. Support styles allow you to paralyze, slow, or otherwise hamper your foes. Magic styles allow you to use your chi to control the elements, while transformation styles allow you to assume the form of creatures or even demons. I'm only repeating what I have learned in my time here, senior student, but that was one of the first things I memorized. She is our internal magical energy. Is that it? Yes. And we can use our chi to hasten the healing process of superficial wounds. Additionally, chi can be used to strengthen our blows, making the most of each strike. I'm sure that's right. I can't channel my chi like you and Dawnstar yet, but one day... Of his history? Uh, nothing. He is supposed to be a great master, but I just arrived, so I know very little about him. I wish I knew more, senior student, but that is all I can answer about our master. Oh, good. I mean, yes, thank you, senior student, for the chance to answer your questions. Master Lee was looking to speak with you, wasn't he? After he left me here, he went back to his house in the center of the school, if you're looking for him. Hello again. What can I do? Please do... I am dedicated to even humbling tasks, but I agree. Guarding the school entrance is more to keep me busy than a necessity, I think. Perhaps my vigilance will show Master Lee that I am a worthy student. He has delayed my training because of some pressing matter. What do you mean? Some sort of test? Of his history? Uh, nothing. He is I wish I knew more, senior student. Oh, g Master... I have nothing to say to a dog bounding after its master. Go bother someone else. Always good to see you wandering the school. You're the best among us, after all. So it makes everyone train a little harder when you're around. The tricky part is making sure we're emulating you, not hoping to take you down a peg. You should think carefully before bruising the tender egos around here. Oh, did I tell you to see Master Lee when you have a chance? I'm not taking the blame if you forget. Master Lee says that these are troubled times, but he has sheltered us from any disturbances. It is an honor to be approached by the school's most senior student. My mother had high hopes for the school when she sent me here from the capital. Sometimes I wonder if I am ready to train with others of such skill. Even in the robes of a junior student, I feel a long way from my home in the Imperial City. I haven't yet settled in. My studies in the Imperial City were far inferior to the instruction you've had. I will just have to work twice as hard to catch up to your level of skill. Even then, it will take a long time to be your match. How long have you studied with Master Lee? She also came here very well, didn't she? The two of you are generally considered the most advanced students here. I'm sorry. 
I shouldn't pester you with my questions. Is there something you need? I don't know anyone else who displays the skill you do. Well, perhaps Gao, but he lacks discipline. That is why he still wears the robes of a junior student, despite his ability. Dawnstar would be next, with few able to match her delicate moves. Beyond that, the only other person I know well is Smiling Mountain, the sparring master. I know she is sensitive to things the rest of us can't see. Sometimes I feel sorry for her. It obviously makes her feel different, and that's not right. I think she was given a gift. Unlike responsibility, it may not always be pleasant, but it's something she should be proud of. It shouldn't isolate her. I have seen his kind in the city. He thinks his family's wealth is a substitute for nobility and is angered when others still see him for what he is. A crass and spoiled bully. As I said, I sometimes feel sorry for her. She's such a caring person that she shouldn't have to feel different from others. I have heard about and seen your skill, but I haven't been here long enough to know much more. But most of the students seem to appreciate your abilities. I hate to put words in other people's mouths, but it's obvious that Gao does not favor you. Master Li has been a mediator of sorts, but Gao responds poorly to authority. I'll answer what I can. He is one man and guides his students well. My last school had two masters who feuded all the time. It made learning very difficult. At the Black Leopard School, I learned the bare basics of a style under First Brother Kai, but not enough to say I'd mastered anything more than a few core techniques. I'd demonstrate, but I don't think I even could. Master Li's teachings have been so much more effective that I have forgotten most of what I learned in the capital. He is greatly skilled and tutors his students intently. You especially. My school in the city was mired in politics, not an environment that promotes diligent study. I'll answer what I can. It's funny, but I still want to look over my shoulder. I have to remember that we are a long way from the ears of the Lotus Assassins. They're the Emperor's personal guardians. In the Imperial City, they watch everyone and everything, looking for those who would question the course of the Empire. The Lotus Assassins... visit people who ask a lot of questions. The Emperor hasn't been seen much recently. His advisors run things. They're not gentle. There's already enough darkness without making up stories about shadows, in my opinion. And try Lin. She seems very interested in the ghosts. map maker, but I know the basics of the way the Empire is laid out. What do you want to know? It was a beautiful place to grow up. The brightest mines, the most noble houses, all the greatest warriors gather there. It's truly the most vibrant place in the world. I'm glad to be here, don't get me wrong. Two Rivers, though, is very... peaceful. I'm used to a more hectic pace, I think. It's taking me some time to adjust. Two Rivers is quiet, subdued. This province has a lot of rich agricultural land. Actually, fields cover pretty much everything south of the Great Southern Forest. They consider farmers uneducated rustics, though they'd use less polite terms. They'd change their tune if they could see such a skilled tutor as Master Lee out here. The Empire is divided into four massive provinces. This area, largely agricultural, is the Golden Delta. To the north lies the Seat of Heaven, which holds the Imperial City. In the prosperous east, you can find port cities like the Phoenix Gate. 
To the west lie the hills of the Six Holy Scrolls. I know little about those two provinces, though. I'll answer what I can. You should ask. What do you want to know? The school I attended in the Imperial City was becoming mired in politics, so my mother sent me out to the country instead. Politics is dangerous, she always said. Oh, I don't know. It just seems like the city is changing. Strange people, strange machines. These are interesting times. I think she just wanted to know that I'd be safe. That won't be for a long time, but I'll probably return to the Imperial City. Perhaps I'll join the Imperial Guard. It's hard to think that far ahead. The school I attended in the Imperial... It's funny, but I still want to look over my shoulder. I honestly didn't pay much attention during history lessons at my previous school. You could always ask in the town. The old Ming loves talking about the past. I'm no map. I'll end. Goodbye. Take care of yourself. I thought Master Lee would have your attention for the rest of the day. It is good to see you. I know you haven't had much time for simple sparring. It is too bad. Your fellow students benefit from your experience. A strong opponent is the best trainer. I am charged with giving whatever instruction I can, but my insights deal more with the philosophy of combat than the skills themselves. Master Lee is very strict about what is taught here, because martial skill is a pathway to great power, and that holds certain risks. It is not just good over evil. Few things in life are that simple. The common way to say it is, do you follow the way of the open palm or the closed fist? A term for the high path, or perhaps the way of restraint and harmony. Many aspire to it, but few achieve it. It is a path of resisting tyranny. Of course, the source of that tyranny varies. It is just as dangerous coming from without as within. Tyranny from external sources is easy to find and fight. Defending those who cannot defend themselves is a reasonable example. But when your abilities are so much greater than those around you, there is the temptation to set everything right by might alone. That is tyranny from within. True, but that can become a convenient excuse. Eventually you may decide that even direct violence is too inefficient for someone of your strength. It is a small leap from there to enforcing your will so that the crime never takes place. Suddenly you are the oppressor, when all you wanted to do was make things right. This way of the open palm is not without its hidden dangers, despite the best of intentions. It is the low path, the way of aggression and discord, a misunderstood path often misused by those who wish to justify a thuggish nature. It is not as simple as crushing your enemies or as mindless as terrorizing the weak. It is a mindset born of impatience, of imposing your will. An evil man might ignore a plea for help because he does not care, but that shows a disconnection with the world. That is not part of the way. A man on the low path might also ignore that plea, but he would do so because that person should demonstrate they are fit to survive on their own. 
The difference is in the details. That same man might help if the odds are unreasonable. He might also do it to incur favor. There is thought in his actions. He is not a mindless killer, but he may let strength decide what course is best. That is why it is a dangerous path. It can so easily be misinterpreted. You are the sum of your actions. The harmony or discord that you sow will weigh on your shoulders as surely as any physical yoke. But there can be advantages. Certain forms of attack inherently lean toward one extreme or the other. They have a rhythm that resonates within you. You may find that some attacks perform better if you are more intent on causing discord. How you use this is for you to discover and decide. I am charged with giving whatever instruction I can, but my insights deal more with the philosophy of combat than the skills themselves. Who are you interested in? Master Lee is a private man, and I will not presume to speak for him. His interest in you surpasses the care of any master I have known. He must see great potential in you. I'd rather not. He is impatiently traveling the low path, and I long ago abandoned him to it. He is reckless, and he neither seeks nor wants my guidance. As young as he is, Gao has impressive skill. Master Li has tried to restrain him, but I know how far he has gone. He wields powerful energies, but has the temper of a child. Master Li has taught the base of such techniques to you and others. Mastering Qi is important for any student here, but he also demands control. Gao's father most likely tutored him. By all that I have heard, both are impatient and spoiled. They can be provoked into explosive outbursts. Only what she lets me know. A very private woman, despite spending so long in the school. <laughs> you probably know her as well as anyone does. She has great skill, but a reluctance to use it. If she were to let go, she could be very powerful. Perhaps that is what she fears. If you wish, but only introspection reveals true insight. I used to call the trading center of Phoenix Gate my home. But I am settled here. I have nothing to go back to. It is not important. Suffice to say that I prefer this little village to the temptations of a greater city. Enough about me. What else can I do for you? It has been several years since I arrived in Two Rivers. I was surprised to find a teacher of Master Lee's ability so far out on the borderlands. It was a fortuitous accident. I have studied the martial arts all my life and serve your master as I am able. He is devoted to your training and needs someone to assist the other students. I am charged. The turtle. There are a few, but not enough for me to set up some of the more challenging matches that I'm sure you would prefer. There will be more students available later in the day when many of their exercises have concluded. I am charged... Ah yes, training. For some time now, I have offered, for a small fee, to run students through a short regimen that will help them enhance their abilities. The lessons you learn from me, or from any trainer for that matter, will stay with you and help make you stronger or better able to focus your mind or magic. Training has worth, and Masterly allows me to collect a small fee to reinforce this. Travel outside two rivers and you will find my prices are quite reasonable. No, I try to improve base abilities. 
but through the basics that Master Lee has instilled. When you have the opportunity, I'm sure you will pick up new styles quickly. Fair enough. I am patient as the rock facing the wind. What else was on your mind? I am charged with giving... The turtle's shell protects him only from harm of which he is aware. Ask away. There are a few, but not enough for me to... There will be more stu... Very well. I'll choose someone who is competent in one-on-one -on -one combat. This is only a practice bout, so fight until your opponent is knocked out. Get ready. Very good. Another victory well earned. Now, is there anything else you would like? Goodbye. I am here if you need anything. Remember the basics. Remember the basics. Why does Master Lee keep repeating that? Our most senior student has a spare moment to spend with me. An honor. No, wait. I shouldn't be like that. Master Lee always reminds me that jealousy is a low path and not worthy of one of his students. I understand your training is almost complete. I wonder who will replace you as our example. It certainly won't be me. I can't even imagine Master Lee saying, you must strive to be like Lin in all things to the others. Just the opposite, more likely. That makes sense. Is that how you live your life? If so, it certainly seems to be an effective philosophy. You could just be pouring honey in my ears, but that's not half as fun as other places it could go. Oh my, you've gone kind of red. I shouldn't tease you like that. Maybe I should spend more time training, and less time worrying about where I stand in the school. How else will I be good enough to take you down one of these days? Besides, there might be bigger things to worry about. I find myself intrigued by the ghost tales that everyone's mentioning. You think I will talk about them behind their backs? I will, but I don't want people to think of me as the local gossip, even if I am just that. Of note? There's only one student of note, and that would be you. Everyone else, even Dawnstar, is just a background for you and your supposed destiny. Not that you don't deserve the attention. I'd be flirting with you non-stop if you weren't so focused on whatever it is Master Lee has in store for you. All of us get a little envious of that. Even Gao gets pushed aside, and he doesn't like being anything less than the center of attention. You know him as well as I do. A rich man's son. He's attractive, I suppose, but arrogance follows him like a cloud of locusts. I hear his father is the same way. 
Gao the Greater and Gao the Lesser. Not a family I would want to be a part of. Why do you need to ask me about Dawnstar? You know her better than anyone as far as I'm concerned. You two practically grew up together. Frankly, I think she might have a little crush on you too. Notice how she's been less willing to train with you recently? Maybe that's why you two get along so well. Maybe her sense for ghosts and the like meshes well with the great destiny Master Lee sees for you. I'm sorry. I shouldn't be like that. Dawnstar is a fine person. She just sees things that I can't. I know there are ghosts and spirits, but why should she be able to sense them when I can't? What makes her special? While Master Lee tries to never let it show, he obviously holds a special place in his heart for you two. I suppose that's hard to deal with, even if I have been here far less time than you two. You know what is said. Master Lee believes you're special, but won't say why. It makes you... interesting. Some of the others don't find it as intriguing as I do. Some even consider it an attack on their worth. Gao, obviously. You know he doesn't like you, he never has. And when Master Lee tells him to model himself after you, that just makes it worse. If you wish. What do you want to ask about? Master Lee took me in when no one else would. He is a firm master, but a kind man deep inside. I imagine that he walked. If you want anything more than that, you'll have to ask someone who was here at the time. That was 20 years ago. I really don't know or care. It may as well have been Sagacious Tien, the first emperor. That was before I was born. If you wish, what do you want to ask about? Other than what Dawnstar senses, all I have is stories, but they're becoming more and more common. Tales of people being haunted by loved ones, and mad ghosts attacking people on the roads, or even in their homes. And Master Lee accepts Dawnstar's ability to see and sense things others can't. If he believes her, then how could I believe otherwise? They're exactly what you'd expect. The souls of humans who have died. According to all the legends, when you die, your soul travels to the underworld. Once there, your soul is judged and placed upon the Wheel of Life, so that it can return to this world in a new life. A soul that doesn't return to the Wheel of Life becomes a ghost. According to the stories, ghosts are usually people whose souls are trapped in this world, either by circumstance or because they won't let go of their old lives. The thing is, those circumstances are very rare, and you never heard about ghosts ten years ago. Now everyone's talking about them. It's like something has happened, and people aren't leaving this world like they should be. Either that or it's mass hysteria, but I can't believe that explanation. From what I understand, Dawnstar is very sensitive to magic and to the spirits we call ghosts. She sees things that others can't. Sometimes she knows things that she shouldn't. I really can't say if it's intuition or something else. That was my first question when I started hearing these rumors. Apparently they can look just like us, though possibly pale and faded. Some ghosts have been around a long time, and apparently they begin to change. They grow distant from their bodies and become more monsters than people. The scary thing is that a lot of the stories I've been hearing are about these old ghosts. The ones that look like monsters. It just doesn't make sense.
if you wish. I'm sure you've figured out most of my little quirks by now. I've been here a few years. I wasn't the delicate flower my family had hoped for. They believed school would calm my spirit. But Master Lee has shown me how to focus myself. I have learned many skills while here, and not many of them require that I be delicate. When I am done, I haven't really thought about it. I won't go home. There's no place for me there. If I can stomach the books, I could become a scholar. Perhaps I'll go to the Imperial City. I should see it at least once in my life. If you wish, what do you want to ask about? Again? I had no idea you were so interested. You usually spend far more time with that Dawn Star than you do talking with me. When I am done, I haven't really... If I can stomach the books, I could become a... If you... Of course. I have to keep practicing if I'm going to be able to best you one day, aren't I? Excellent. Let's see if we can use Smiling Mountain Sparring Ground. Once we're done, I'll wander back here if you need me again. Legendary Strike! <laughs> <laughs> Heavenly wave. Hey. Legendary strike. Heavenly wave. Legendary strike. Something like Am I interested in you defeating me again, like you so often do? Oh, of course I am. Imagine the gossip if we keep studying together. I don't know how much more you can learn from facing me, but I'm game if you are. Excellent! Let's see if... There you are, my student. I watched your bout against Jingwu with great pride. You have gained almost all you can from the practice arena. You are my best pupil, though you came to me an orphan. 
I have tried to prepare you for the responsibility your skills will bring. Have you given thought to your future? Your lessons are complete. Remember these basic skills and keep them at heart. But also remember the classes are not a true measure of ability. Always be ready to learn. I recall that as a child, you fell and bruised your arm. I comforted you, saying that small pains are part of learning, but not every setback imparts wisdom. You must be careful. Sometimes all you learn in defeat is that you have been defeated. This world is out of balance. Spirits grow restless, and you have a role to play that I have kept secret. Those who announce their important destiny before they are ready tend to meet unfortunate ends. The wise only seek attention when capable of dealing with it. The people are scared. I do not have all the answers, but I know you will become very important to the fates of many. You will be called to face a great evil. Master! Master Lee! What is this interruption? This had better be important. There is much to say. Master! Nijo came to warn me. He saw a boat from the outlook past the fields. Strange outlaws. They, 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 they fired something at him. And Kiamin was injured. Where is she now? Still outside the village by the outlook. Nijo couldn't carry her. Please come, Master Lee. The bandits are not at the village yet, but they could arrive at any time. Hmm. We will have to continue our discussion later, my student. It appears we have more pressing matters. You will have your chance to fight soon enough. Go to Gu Jin, the Weapon Master. He has a weapon for you, and you will have need of it before long. On your way, make certain Dawnstar is aware of the danger. Her skills have always complemented yours, so take her with you. Prepare yourself for a potential attack while I tend to my fallen student. I will return as soon as I can. We will continue our discussion when the threat is over. Dawnstar will be near her garden at the entrance to the school. Gu Jin will be in his shop near the village gate, up the stairs from the village square. You near the end of your training, but I am still your master. You have a greater role than you know. For now, do as I say and keep the basics at heart. The obvious path is humble, safe, but pays the wage of a cook, not a champion.
which is humble can be the key to greater things. Bandits coming here. They must not know about the school, or at least about Master Lee. He's not a man to stand idly by while people suffer. If they hurt Kia Min badly, Master Lee will be angry. I'd hate to be the captain of that ship if Master Lee is angry. I hear bandits have injured Kia Min. She is a favorite pupil and holds the record for the challenge I run. I'm sure Master Lee will take care of her. What can I do for you? I am here. Ah, yes, training. For some time now, I have offered the lesson. Let's see. finally get a chance to see some combat if there are truly bandits coming. I'm sure Master Lee will be able to save Kia Min even if she's wounded. But I wonder who will salve her pride walking along the shore my foot. What do you need from me? Why would you ask me? Everyone knows I... She's too moody to talk to. Always looking past you as if there's something more interesting happening behind you. You certainly don't seem to have any trouble getting along with her. And you, of all people, should know to look for her at her garden by the school gate. Leaving sp Bandits are... What would bandits want with a sleepy town like Two Rivers? They're in for a surprise if they think the school won't leap to the town's defense. What can I do to help you? I don't think so. Perhaps she is at her garden. I do not know her well, but I see her there often. I'll ask Gao if he's in the mood to speak. I saw him heading that way. I don't think now's really the time. You have more pressing things to attend to. Goodbye. What's the matter, Dawnstar? Are you scared that Master Lee might find out? There is talk of approaching bandits, and you bother me with unsubtle advances. How very like you, Gao. No doubt a tactic learned from your criminal father. His name is Gao the Greater, and he built a fortune out of some ragged thieves and slave traders. If my charm can't lift your spirit, I'll buy the ground from under you. Flaunting your father's undeserved wealth does not impress me, Gao. It only serves to push me further away. You step beyond your station. She and I are discussing her future. Thank you, Gao, but I'll pick my own poison. Now leave, and if you'd be so kind, stay downwind. I won't forget this, Dawnstar. You show great disrespect. You as well. 
You will not take all the glory if there is an attack. We are not through. Oh, he is Gao the Lesser in all respects. I thought Master Li allowed him to stay so that the influence of the Father could be countered, but Gao never learns. He acts like he's above Master Li's teachings. Such are the conceits of wealth, I suppose. I appreciate that you arrived when you did. That is nice to hear. Gao could learn much from you if he wanted to learn anything from anyone. What does Gao the Lesser ever want? He's convinced that he can buy everything, and that includes people. He's a spoiled little man. I'd rather not dwell on him. Let's not increase his influence by talking about him after he's gone. What is it you wish? Yes, he said you were coming. He just passed here with C. Pat on his way to help Kia Min. It's strange that simple bandits would launch such a raid. Master Lee was concerned that this would interrupt your training. His respect for your potential is just so... absolute. Has he told you any more about your future? Only what Master Lee has told you in the past. You are meant for great things. But you must discover them yourself. It must be so frustrating, but exciting as well. It is not the same. You are filled with the promise of great things, even if they are unknown. My skills will always be darker. I can see into the spiritual, an ability that grants some insight, but it doesn't seem to be useful for anything other than keeping me awake at night. I helped Master Li discover the unrest that shapes your future, but I see only problems, while you are destined to find solutions. I envy you for that. <laughs> I'm glad. You have always kept your feet on the ground. What does Master Li say? That you should keep the basics close to heart? Let's go get your weapon from Gujin's workshop. It shouldn't be too hard to fend off simple bandits. They're foolish to attempt such an attack. Of course. I can speak now or during our walk. Master Li suggested that I accompany you, in case you require assistance. His workshop is in the center of the village by the gate, up the stairs from the square. It's the largest and most permanent building. You must be tired if you're asking me about that. You've talked to him many times. I don't want to think about it too much. Manipulating Chi has not come as naturally to me as it has to you. The things I do are different. I can see spirit shapes and hear the odd whisper. Master Li was surprised, but he has not had time to look into it further. Your training is his primary interest. Hopefully I'll find my skills useful for more than just keeping me up at night. Could we go on to something else? We are all spiritual creatures. When we die, our spirits are released to find their way to the underworld. The journey eases the transition from life to death. If their time among the living was troubled or painful, spirits sometimes get lost. They can seem almost alive and are often mistaken for living creatures. They usually only appear for a short time. They say what they need to say and then are drawn to the underworld. If a person's life was very traumatic, his or her spirit can lose its way for a long time. They can go mad trapped in the world of the living. Maddened spirits change. They lose their connection to the living world and begin to channel darker emotions. They can be very dangerous. I've only seen hints of those. It's been enough. I'm very worried about what may be coming. I don't know. That's the kind of thing old men sit on mountains to discover. Some say it is a place of judgment. Maybe it's about reincarnation. You'd think we could just ask the spirits themselves, but if we can't really understand our own answers, how can we hope to fathom theirs? 
We should get our weapons as quickly as we can. I am honored that Master Lee feels I am worthy of standing beside you. Why are we going back to the school? We need to go to Gujans, north of the main square in town. It's always good to see you again, but I should keep practicing. They'd probably skin me alive if they heard me say this. But Wen and Lin look like they've got a little more f <laughs> Go pet. What can I do? Something on your... Don't you think that there's more... Is there something you need for I don't We should go to Gujan for a weapon like Master Lee said. Then we can address whatever threat these bandits pose. I don't want to think about it. I can see... We should... Nice little town you have here. Not a lot of guards, are there? How are your stocks of food? I don't know you. Why are you asking me all these questions? This town isn't well guarded. Forget it, let's just start looting. We'll get first crack at the good stuff. You're right. This isn't worth it. moved so quickly. We need your weapon. Gujin will be in his shop north of the main stairs. Why would bandits come here to Two Rivers? I'm so shocked. I don't know what to say. You have to keep us safe. that noise from the town square. Are people fighting? Bandits, huh? I, I see a lot of them. I'd better let someone else have some fun for a change. I can't abandon the gate. You never know if they're gonna sneak around. No, please. I, I can't fight. I just didn't want to be a rock picker in my grandfather's field. Guarding the gate looked easy. I never thought bandits would actually come. Please don't let them get me. Don't let them. 
Save us! I don't want to be buried in the field. This building is Gujin's place. As soon as we can, we should see him to arm ourselves. Ujoir Shatir Uksayana. Savani Karpa. Hello, Weapon Master Gujin. Good day to you. Swoir Ufir Wakwanpa. What are we here if we are the Payer Fun Michiki? Ukayer Otonoir, the Nisun Puno, a seer soon could. If you'd prefer, I don't need to use the fan. Now, what brings you here? Already? I assume you dealt with them, and the rest are in for quite a surprise when they get here. Well, no time to waste. Donstar, I watched you practice with that new blade yesterday, and I must say you take to it naturally. I want you to keep it and use it as your own. This is a great honor. A good weapon is a true warrior's most treasured possession. You know, you came here with Master Lee as just a babe. I came not long after, and I've been holding on to a weapon for you ever since. Well, two, actually. But you need to choose which one you'll take. Master Lee wants you to stay focused on your first weapon. I don't know where your master acquired these, but he has honored me with the care of two legendary weapons. You may arm yourself with either the legendary longsword, Fortune's favorite, or the famed staff, Golden Star. They say this blade was created in the forge of Smiling Fortune, blacksmith to the gods. Crafted for his son, this blade eventually found its way into the hands of men. How your master found it, I cannot say, but this ancient longsword is yours, if you wish it. They say Golden Star was forged as a gift to a water spirit of the Silkworm River. A young noble convinced the great eastern serpent to fly him to the stars, where he dipped this staff in the tail of a comet. It could be pure fantasy, but this staff certainly isn't. It's strong and has an excellent reach. Your foes will tremble if they see you wielding it. I'm afraid not. She would not be able to handle one of these weapons quite yet. I'll explain why in a moment, but suffice it to say that very few people have your aptitude for maintaining focus in battle. In time, Dawnstar will be able to handle a weapon like this, but don't discount the blade I gave her. Master Lee wanted her to have the keenest steel I could find. They say this blade was... how your... Your weapon is well deserved, and you'll need it with these bandits so close. If you decide you truly don't like it, however, you can come see me after the bandits are dealt with. One more thing you need to know. These weapons strike with deadly precision, but to wield them safely you must focus with each strike. Master Lee has been training you so that you'd be ready for this kind of weapon, and the drain won't be crippling, but you will get tired over time. That you should. Those people will be looking to you for leadership until Master Lee gets back. I know you'll do well. Senior student! Oh, excuse me, Weapon Master. I did not mean to interrupt. Calm down, student. What has you so flustered? The bandits! They've already been sighted down by the beach, and they're making their way toward the town. Master Li hasn't returned yet with Kia Min. I'm sure he will be back before long, but we must depend on you until he returns.
They're making their way toward the town now. The few men in the militia weren't able to stop them. I... I don't know, but their ship is large. There could be many of them. You have to help, senior student. I will run to the school and seal the gates. Make your way to the beach and teach these bandits a lesson. I know you can. You've done well, lad. Go back to the school now. Your friends have some new weapons they're dying to try out, I'm sure. Legendary longsword. Someone from the school would help. No one else could. Please, my boy Nijo is trying to fight them down on the beach, but we need someone skilled. I can hear fighting to the east. We have to push these bandits back off the beach. Thank the heavens you came down. They're animals. <laughs> Yet another village with no purpose. I will replenish our supplies and continue my search elsewhere. You will all, of course, have to die. Legendary, legendary strike!
heavenly way. Long <laughs> Legendary strike. Your skills are more than this tiny village warrants. But I also see something strange, an oddity. You could be an anomaly or a sign of who I seek. A further test is needed. These mercenaries are not the only threat I command. Let us see you contend with this. Impressive. Clearly, I have been too dismissive in my search. This village will be torn asunder. Whatever you are hiding, I will have it! I have seen enough of your skills. You will die now, so I am not troubled later. Well fought, my student, but I cannot risk you against a foe like this yet. So blatant. We never thought to look in so humble a place. We expected an army. Your strategy, as always, is impeccable. Your search is over, assassin, but no one will hear of your success. It would seem that my past is catching up to me, and you are destined to be swept along. You have faced your first spirit opponents far sooner than I intended. Dawnstar can explain the nature of such creatures. I must go and make sure everything is in place. I thought I had more time, but perhaps you are ready. You would have fought, and you would have died. You are not ready, but you soon will be. There is no choice left to us. I will explain at the school. You have done well, but more than this awaits you. See to your fellow villagers and students, and return to me at the school. We have a great deal to discuss. We fought well against those bandits, but I had no idea Master Lee could command that kind of power. He destroyed that ship so easily. This is so confusing. Master Lee said I could explain the nature of spirits, but these were different. That sorcerer forced them to appear like wild dogs let loose. So many spirits seem lost, as if the way to their rest is blocked. I didn't think they were dangerous, but those on the beach... I sensed madness. Time drove them mad. 
You disrupted them by defeating them in combat. They will not reform for a long time. I hope there is peace in that, but I don't know. So much is worrying me. I was worried enough when we were expecting bandits. Now it seems there are dangers we don't even know about. Master Lee called that, that sorcerer an assassin. Assassins don't attack at random. They have very specific prey. I don't, I don't want anything to happen to this home. I've never belonged anywhere else. Would it be strange of me to say I don't know? I have very little memory of my home before coming here, even though I was three years old when I arrived. I remember moving around a lot, never staying anywhere for long, and for some reason the robes of that sorcerer looked familiar to me. I don't know why. I'm sure it's nothing, just the memories of childhood playing tricks. With glimpses of the spirit realm invading my thoughts, I could have seen them anywhere. I can't remember specific incidents, but I am used to being shunned. People are not very welcoming of those who appear to not let the dead lay peacefully. Master Lee said I was brought to him by a concerned ally who received me from yet another person. That person wanted me safe, but he said he couldn't ensure it himself. Master Lee doesn't know who that guardian was, or what I needed protection from. He promised to look into it, but he's not had time. Your training has taken precedence. My abilities are just a curiosity. You are the center of attention here. I prefer it this way. I can just... be. Yes, I suppose you know something about that as well. I hope this does not sound odd, but I am glad we share that. Thanks for this talk. The events on the beach worried me, but <laughs> you always improve my mood. Let's get back to what you need to do. Well, we've already visited Gu Jin, who used to be a guard in the West, they say. Old Ming always has a story, and he's usually by the statue on the beach. Merchant Fen Do is in the village square. He's been expecting new goods any day now, for weeks. Oh, for training or learning the philosophy behind martial combat, go see Smiling Mountain. He is behind the ring, near the student quarters. <laughs> He's always amusing. I don't want to think about it too much. Manipulating Chi has not come as naturally to me as it has to you. I can see spirit ship. Hopefully I'll find my skills useful for more than just keeping me up at- Well, we've- Mer- Oh! I don't want to- Then we should return to Master Lee so he can talk to you about this attack. I'm so glad you and Master Lee arrived when you did. My father ran to the school gate to find students to help. Did he make it? <sighs> that is a great relief. We tried our best, but without you and Master Lee, we would have died. Thank you. Hopefully Master Lee can shed some light on what led to this. A sorcerer in our little village? What is wrong with the world? Dawnstar, there you are. I know I haven't spoken to you in a while. I saw him again last night, and I remembered what you said. I wasn't as afraid. I'm glad, Mrs. Zhang. He seemed... peaceful, if a bit... lost. But I know it's not your fault now. I'm sorry for disturbing you and for what I said before. Remember Zhang Jin, her son? He drowned last year after the mooring she tied let go. A sad accident. I saw his spirit and told her. She thought I was calling up ghosts. Some spirits return because of trauma, to rectify something that disturbed them in life or death. They are very focused. When the pain is gone, they find rest. At least, they are supposed to. Jin's spirit told his mother the accident wasn't her fault. 
Now he wanders, unconnected to this world and unable to pass to the next. Troubled spirits can be set to rest for a time, but unless the greater problem is corrected, it seems all dead are destined to wander until they go mad. I'm sorry, this has been difficult. I don't want to think about how it affects specific people. I'm still not sure I should have told Mrs. Zhang about her child. I don't know. People just want to be left alone with their grief. I guess blame is easier to understand than chance. Come on, we should go see if the students are alright. Master Lee will be waiting. Ikirnikti <laughs> Wo Anania if we were Ook Sonorok Noka Ook Schnapir Ikir Nik Tinepiru, Wo Iperek Ook Son Puno Sata Tawe Ear, Wo Nawa Fur Kuno Sukut Nia Awafawa Ear Sutok Wo Wo Son Puno No, Yapapap Nasia Uir Saye Wood Ikir nik tine piru, wo iperek uok son puno. Tawe ir kawana ir soni ir ipoki. You flatter, sir. I am sorry not every student has earned such respect. Ir soni ir unikasuri ir kawana no ir usoana da hoki. Near Pook, no son could none no one and Yapir, Isara Yuyo. Wo Anania, if we were Ook Sonorok, Noka, Ook Schnapir. Wo Nikasuri, Kwana no Kuni, Ook Nawata ear, Nick Nipier. Ko near Pook, no son could none no one and Yapir, Isara Yuyo. Nikasurir Kwana no Kuni Ugnawata ear, Nick Nipier Wunno will na no ba ear su Isara Yuyo, Kunir Puk no son could na no one and Napier Was Oki for weir Ugar so hero Niato would not abadi hero weir. Kuni uk nawata ear Tasi ear si ear tintu, funye wo 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 si ye wo ta hufu Wo wo sun pununo, yapa pat na si a yuir sa ye wood Wo anania if we were uk sonorok noka uk snapir you could nikunk uno sa ir son could noka uk your ear. Un nikasuri ir kwana no kuni uk nawata ear, nik nipi ear. Ikir nik tine piru, wo iperek uk son puno. Sa ir yagoak, kokonato si ir ipano niniku. 
ni ato u no napadi irovir, ko ni ognavate ir. Ko ni rpuk no son kod na no wana njapir, isana yuyo. Ir kana, u ni gasuri ir kwana no gasa ir iroro. Iyo kod ni kun u no sa ir son kod no ga ugyor ir. Ko nir phuk no song kud na no wana nyapir, isana yuyo. Un nik asuri ir kwana no ko ni uk nawata ir, nik nipi ir. Ni ato u no napadi iru vir, ko ni uk nawata ir. Ta si ir si ir tintu, fun ye wo 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 si ye wo ta hufu. Ovo sun ponono, ja pa pap nasija ju ir sa je uod. Ko nir puk no son kod na no wana njabir, isana juju. Ir kana, u nika suri ir kwana no ka sa ir iroro. Ju kod ni kung u no sa ir son kod no ka ugyor ir. O sensu kuk. Sa ir jagoak, koko nato si ir i pano neniku. Wo ananija i vwir uk sonorok noka uk šnapir. I kir nik ti ne piru, wo i vwirek uk son puno. Sa ir jagoak, koko nato si ir i pano neniku. Uk sasa sara na fuk no, rik ni uk ni akawa ni ar rapao ni. Wo wo sun puno no, ya pa pap na si ar yu ir sa ir uod. Ko ni... Wo no ir... Wo so... Go through to us all. It's a good thing we have Master Lee here. Those bandits will think twice before threatening a town protected by the likes of Master Lee. They were fools to even come here. The only shame is that their ship sunk. Think what we could have done with their plunder. Ah, uh, well, that's another opportunity lost. In this town, it's vital for a businessman to keep tabs on anyone with two coins to rub together. Things haven't been this slow since the long drought. That master of yours keeps things ludicrously stable while merchants thrive on strife. During the long drought, prices rocketed into the sky like fireworks. I can't say that. He's a wise man who sees to the heart of things. If I were to complain about anything, it's how few students he attracts. A skilled master could bring a lot of people into this town, but he is very selective about who comes. That's his business, I'm sure, but it affects my business as well. I get by. I suppose I shouldn't wish for strife, lest it come knocking on my door. Besides, the bandits didn't do as much to bring people to the store as I hoped. So, maybe stability is underrated. Happily, we don't need to waste time on my gripes when there's silver to be spent. I have nothing at the moment. I can't keep my stock up. 
People are scared to travel, which prevents goods from getting here. I must apologize. I do what I can, but the ghosts and bandits limit travel. They viciously force many caravans to turn back. To hear some of the caravan masters talk, there are problems of this type all over the Empire. I will be sure to let you know as soon as anything comes to town. If you wish, what do you want to know? You'd think the recent attack would have people buying supplies or weapons or something. But alas, business has not improved. Who could be more important than Master Lee? He is the anchor of this town, and none question his wisdom. Two Rivers has always accepted the masters of your school as leaders, but none have taken to it with the skill, authority, or wisdom of your master. No different from anyone else. If you keep to yourself, no one bothers you. Well, you are always asking questions. That can be tiring. Although I do prefer that over Gao's posturing, he is not well liked. But his father has money, so he gets his way. Who could be more important? If you wish. You'd think the recent attack would have people buying some... No different from anyone else. If you keep to yourself, no one bothers you. Well, you are always asking questions. I've never set my eyes beyond the horizon you can see from here. There must be someone else you could ask. I send my thanks to the spirit for successful journeys just like everyone else. I don't have any special insight. Why not ask your friend there? Dawn Star knows more about the spirit realm than anyone, it seems. She's been a great help from time to time. I do what I can to help, good merchant. That's all any of us can do. I grew up during the worst of it, but I don't remember much. Just the joy when the Emperor put an end to it. Two Rivers was almost deserted by that time, but Master Lee arrived soon after, and we've had peace ever since. I don't know. That's why the Emperor is the Emperor, and I'm content to be here. I don't need to worry about it. I send my thanks to the Spirit for successful journeys just like everyone else. I don't have any special insight. Why not ask your friend? I... If you wish. Well, there isn't much to tell. I'm just a simple merchant trying to ply his trade in a town that resists spending money. One day the gods will recognize my suffering and elevate me to their ranks. If... Do come back when the weight of your silver is slowing you down. Always happy to help. Which one do you mean? Surely not that arrogant Gao boy. Are you crazed? No, he's the cute one in the blue vest with the yellow sash. Trust me, if you were a young woman in this village, you'd know who he was. Things must be lean out in the swamps if the bandits would dare attack us. You will have many friends in the village after... Hey, boys, look who it is. Is that the one gal the Lester's always going on about? I think so. I say they teach a little lesson about staying in your place when, when great men like Gow are around. We're twice the men you are, drunk or sober. Teach us well for lesson manners. 
Legendary strike. Ice shot. Legendary strike. A flawless. Ice shark. Legendary strike. Yes? I'll help if I can, but Master Lee is waiting for you. Then we... Good job with those ruffians. Those bandits weren't gentle with this town. I'm going to help out with some of the repairs. I'm just glad you two got a chance to try those weapons out for real. Looks like they handled themselves well, just like you two. It's a sleepy little town, usually, and bandit attacks are virtually unheard of. Who wants to rob farmers? Rice isn't worth enough to carry it away. The only real visitor we have is that strange fellow who came in for supplies once or twice. He's just some mad hermit, though. He tries to avoid the village proper. The best thing about this place is Master Lee's leadership. It's like the man was born to it. I never caught his name, and he shies away from the village proper, so I think he prefers it that way. His visits are so rare, I'm not surprised you haven't heard of him. Merchant Fen Do won't even speak of the man. Just gives him a few basic supplies and lets him go. Oh well, no concern of ours. If a man wants to keep to himself, I say we let him do it. Oh, be fair. I may be the weapon master around here, but it's Master Lee who really does the training. I help out, but he's the real reason you two are so good. I used to be a guard in Broken Path, a little town in the western part of the Empire. It was a sleepy place like this, though the residents were miners, not farmers. That whole province is called the Hills of the Six Holy Scrolls for a reason. It's rocky, as rich in minerals as it is in ancient temples. After the body takes enough of a beating, it just doesn't fight as well as it once did. About ten years ago, something just broke loose. Ghosts stormed out of the hills, dozens of them charging from the west. We tried to fight them, and it worked to some degree. But these ghosts were howling mad. Some of them didn't even look human anymore, like monsters they were. They came from the hills in the west, but beyond that, no one knows. The scary part is that these days I hear more and more stories about ghosts haunting the roads. I wonder if we in Broken Path saw the beginning of whatever is happening now. It's hard to say, but there are an awful lot of rumors about ghosts these days. I haven't the whisper of a clue. They simply attacked all transparent and screaming rage in those hollow voices of theirs. Ghosts can't die, but they can be... dispersed is the best word. They come back after a while, though. I guess there's no peace for the dead, except to go to the underworld like most everyone does when they die. I haven't the whisper of... They came from the hills. I wonder if we... We won, but many people joined the ghosts' ranks that day. People were spooked, claiming that the hills were haunted. Soon enough, Broken Path became an empty path. It was deserted, still sore from the fighting. I made my way south, to what I found to be more peaceful lands.
It's a sleepy little town, usually, and bandit attacks are virtually unheard. The only... the best thing... You're right. There's plenty to do. Quite a bit of excitement. Yes, bandits can be tricky opponents. Of course, that didn't stop Gal the Lesser from beating a few of them senseless. That boy enjoys causing pain. You, uh... You won't tell anyone about what happened, will you? I couldn't leave my post, you know? I can't keep watch over the students if I'm dead. Please, it's not my fault I'm not as skilled as you. This is just the only job I could get that wasn't, you know, hard. Couldn't I convince you to let the glint of silver distract you? A few coins between friends? Right, and I will, while I'm still alive. What do you need? Why do you need to ask? A bandit attack isn't of enough interest? What else would people talk about? Perhaps one of the villagers can accommodate you? I would rather focus on my job. Two rivers may be remote and calm, but I still take the task of protecting it seriously. Why do you need to... Farewell. I knew you would not let those bandits overrun the village. I hope I equal your skill someday. Please do not. This is... Master Lee was... I heard some people died when the bandits attacked. I'm glad you didn't. Glad to see you're still well. By most reports, you've faced down many of those bandits yourself. Impressive, senior student. Huh. Who else? Gow the Lesser won't let a chance to glorify himself slip away. To hear Gow's side, he pushed back the bandits. But I know you dealt with the greater share of them. Of course, it was best that our master was there to deal with that sorcerer. The stories about their confrontation spread quicker than a plane's fire. I wish I could have helped fight the bandits, but Master Lee ordered everyone to stay here. To hear Gao tell it, he single-handedly beat back the bandits. But I know you did the lion's share. Too bad I was stuck up here minding the younger students. It would have been great to see Master Lee deal with that sorcerer. We so rarely see our master's true abilities in action. What do you need from me? Am I interested in you defeating me again, like you so often do? Oh, of course I am. Excellent! Ice shark!
I wish I... Master Lee does not... Those bandits learned a hard lesson. Master Lee is not a man to stand by while the town is attacked. Same with you. When something has to be done, you do it. What can I do to help you? It would be an honor. Are you sure you have time? Excellent. But let's find a quieter spot to spar. Once we're finished, I'll have to return here and continue my meditations. Strike! hero of the moment. Gao claims that he dealt with hordes of bandits, but everyone else agrees that you turned aside their main attack. It is good that you were here. My foolish lack of attention forced Master Lee to come to my rescue, and left me with a wound that will take a few weeks to heal. Master Lee assures me I will heal in time. It's a shame, as Smiling Mountain was teasing me just yesterday with some special prize. Smiling Mountain trained students in group combat, and just yesterday, I managed to break your record for the number of opponents faced at once. He teased me by saying if I could go one higher, he might have a prize for me. I suppose he might make the same offer to you, if you're up to it. If I could fight, he could likely round up enough opponents for you to make a run at a new record, but I can't face anyone with this wound. I can only feed you answers that are common knowledge. Some of the other students might help you more. Wen is the most widely traveled here, and Lin hasn't been able to stop talking about ghosts, which is a nice change when we're talking about everyone else. If you have questions about history or philosophy, I recommend avoiding us students. Learn about the past from those who were there. I'll answer what I can. I can only feed you answers that are common knowledge. When is the most... If... I'll... Master Lee cares deeply for all of us, despite his stern demeanor. Look how he came to my rescue when the bandit's spell left me wounded. I've heard a rumor that the man leading the bandit seemed to know Master Lee, but I really couldn't say why. It's scary to think they came here with a purpose, though. Why don't you ask Master Lee? I'll answer what I... Master Lee cares deeply for all of us, despite his stern demeanor. Look how he came... I'll... I haven't talked to many of the newer students. The only one I have strong opinions about is Gao. He and I have sparred many times. He's come dangerously close to injuring me, and I've seen his aggression hurt others. I've expressed my concerns to Smiling Mountain, and he wisely advises me to focus on myself. If I let my anger get the better of me, I'm no better than Gao. I'll Goodbye. This has been a busy day for us all.
Unless you can speed up time, I'm not sure there's much that can be done. Masterly has already tended to it. Then again, I vaguely recall a grass or herb that hastens the healing process. Someone like Old Ming might know for sure. He's quite interested in herbs. I don't think it's a common plant, no. The only person I can think of who might know for sure would be Old Ming. I'm not sure, but if you had to buy it, I'd happily pay you back for the trouble you went through. This wound will heal in time regardless, but I wouldn't complain if it knitted faster. All the quicker to return to my training. When he's not hollering at students for making too much noise, he's usually down by the beach looking after the statue of Emperor Sun. I think so, though I can't remember the name. It was some kind of rare grass, I think. I know you're very busy, but if you happen to have time and be passing by the beach, I'd appreciate it if you would at least ask Old Ming. If I'm lucky, he might know of an herb, and if heaven smiles upon me, he'll know where to find some. If you have to buy anything, let me know what it costs and I'll pay you back happily. It would be worth it to get back to training. Take care. Oh, and if you happen to find anything that might help this wound after you talk to Old Ming, let me know.